Hey guys, and welcome back to the Shown Fiance. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install the Flattens Planes mod for Minecraft 1.5.2. Now, um, all the links will be in the description. I just want to announce that first of all. And uh, next off, uh, this is not a troll or anything, so I promise this will work. So yeah, let's get started. Anyways, first up, what you will need is oh, sorry, don't mind this. That's an uploading video. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, whoops. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm just uploading a video here. It's uh, actually Swedish gameplay uh, in Minecraft 1.1. But uh, never mind. Uh, let's go to the actual installation of this thing. So to install the Minecraft Flans Planes mod, you will need uh, Forge or Minecraft Forge, uh, the actual mod, and probably some content packs because. Uh, the mod is pretty boring without the content packs. Now there's custom content packs made by other players and if you like to, if you're a coder like me and programmer, you like to, uh, you know, make your own packs, you can go ahead and do that by, you know, making models and stuff like that and with your own mods. So it's uh, kind of custom, uh, custom or customizable, this mod actually. So anyways, first off, what you will need is Minecraft Forge. Now to get that, you, you want to go to this site. Now as I said, this link will be in the description. I will probably leave the di uh, direct link for the Forge 7.8.0 Minecraft 1.4.5.2. So this link, wait, no, 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 wait one sec. Yeah, this link right here will be in the description so you can go ahead and download it. Now you want to get the universal one. You can either click add fly. If you feel like a really nice person, you want to do these guys a big honor. Click the add fly uh, thing, but I'm just gonna go direct because this is a tutorial. I have pressed the add fly uh, link a few times now, um, so I guess I'm a good person. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah. Uh, if you want to be a nice person, go ahead and click that. But uh, I don't really know if it matters or not. But uh, you know, these guys get five dollars every time ten thousand visitors click this link. So that's you know kind of big thing for them, I guess. But uh, I don't really know this thing is freezed for me. But yeah, okay, when it is done download, you can use Firefox, Internet Explorer. I'm using Google Chrome because it's fast, easy, and portable and really quick. Uh, so I'll go ahead and drag that to your desktop. Now when you got this, we're going to go ahead and download the actual mod. Now you want to make sure that you bought Minecraft or this will not work. And now to buy Minecraft, you have to go to a site called Minecraft.net. Now, uh, no, many people don't know this, but uh, um, installing mods and actually uh, mod moderating or modding the mod uh, would not have bought it it is kind of illegal actually plus that uh, if you haven't bought it and playing it at the same time I mean that's that is still illegal so you gotta make sure you buy the game before you do any of this or you are an illegal person which is really bad so yeah because um, many people play uh, cracked Minecraft and that's not okay because you know you guys could get pretty blamed for that but uh, anyways um, so first off what you want to do is you want to download Forge so that when we got that we will go ahead and download the first mo actual mod uh, so as you can see here step two we, we want to download the Flans Planes mod uh, for uh, version 2.3.1 for Minecraft 1.5.2 go ahead and click that link it will directly take you or I actually could open it to a new window uh, or uh, tab but I'm, I'm just gonna click it straight off because I want to get this done now this is an ad fly link and this is what the forge would be too but uh, yeah you just wait for this thing you don't want to click anything down here even though it says download or anything what you want to do is you want to click the skip ad only the skip ad nothing else here this is just ads okay just ads now this will take you to a media fire download that will be uh, make you able to download the actual mod so here as you can see we got the media fire link go ahead and click the download button right here and once again these links right here that are loading as you can see they're kind of loading like YouTube icons uh, these are also just add-ons do not click any else uh, anywhere yeah, as you can see here here's a fake download button do not click this this is uh, uh, I live it do not click any else download button than this one because many people do that mistake and that could be viruses or anything other crappy things uh, who knows programs viruses Ugh, creepy things malwares anyways uh, so now we got the two things now uh, you don't really need this more but I'm just gonna minimize this you can close this down if you want to but uh, or but actually we you might want to go back to Flans Plains mod site because um, uh, oh sorry about that oh there we go and uh, might want to download some uh, mod or content packs because uh, as I said the, the mod is kind of boring with all the content packs now as I say also you can you can make your own or download others custom mods and also uh, there are 
content packs made by the actual mod maker uh, so which uh, of course to get any content pack you will need the simple parts pack first of all now I'm gonna scroll down all the way until we see content packs here we here have a custom content uh, creation oh this is this tutorial sorry content packs here we here we have it so before installing any content packs you will need the simple parts pack now as you see here it says 1.5.1 but note that this also works for 1.5.2 I tried this out I promise it guarantee it will work uh, don't worry that this 1.5.1 version is the same as 1.5.2 so don't worry these this also works for 1.5.2 but just make sure you don't download these you want to make sure you download the 1.5.1 now um, currently this thing is only updated for 1.5.1 but it maybe will say 1.5.2 for you here and that's even better I say I suppose but uh, I don't know if there's gonna be any glitches with that but all I know is that it will work so go ahead and click that uh, I'm just gonna open in a new tab and you will get this ad fly link and uh, yeah so I'm gonna scroll down a bit more probably wanna have the old pack you know with the biplanes double seated plane you know the crossbow I guess uh, go and download that for 1.5.1 or also yeah 1.5.2 or 1.5.2 sorry 1.5 um, got the yeah well World War II pack uh, let's see here and uh well, yeah, I guess that's actually, and if we scroll down a little bit more, we can see the modern weapons pack. Now, I'm actually going to get this deal. Now, this is a nerf pack, but I don't really think that's necessary. I mean, yeah, but, uh, yeah, there, there, there I mean, there, it's kind of many links, but just go ahead and click uh, skip ad and all of them, and it will take you, it will redirect you to a media fire link. Yeah, pretty simple. So, uh, these are the four probably best mod packs I suggest but uh, as uh, you know before previously you uh, click the download button nothing else because this could be ads or it is ads but uh, this could be any viruses or malwares anyways uh, go ahead and you uh, download all these should take a sec download and last but not least the modern weapons one there we go so uh, now the the con packs is kind of the whole thing about the mod that now you can add anything into the mod really with guns and to do and whoa Jesus Christ that's a lot of ads <laughs> so let me close these down real quick uh, probably don't need the forge link any longer but uh, what you want to do is you simply want to drag this out let me just kind of expand this a little bit there we go simply drag those all them out to your desktop one by one by one by one there we go so now we uh, when we got all these I'm just gonna go into my download now uh, you if you're using like uh, Internet Explorer uh, after downloading it you might want to go to your my downloads or downloads folder and here you see as you can see we have all the files now I don't really know where this came from but uh, somehow my friend tried to give me this uh, really weird link and I download this I don't know what it is but I can't seem to delete it I it says I can't. I mean, it's it's really weird. But uh, anyways, so um, now we've got the content packs. We can put those aside over here because we're going to use these later on. But what we're going to do now is uh, install Minecraft Forge and the actual mod. So first off, you want to make sure that your Minecraft is running correctly. Uh, so go ahead and log in, just like that, and uh, wait for it to load. Uh, and of course, as I said, you must buy Minecraft to be able to download Minecraft or you are illegal if you've done any other way as I know but here as you can see 1.5.2 nothing, nothing strange is like that go ahead and quit the game or click or close it down now next up what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into a roaming folder now I have a shortcut here but I'm not gonna use this because people that have not installed this mod before might not know how to get there so first off open your start menu now I'm using a uh, Windows 7 computer but if you're using a Windows XP you want to open a program called run.exe now this program uh, they, they work the same both they uh, run.exe uh, should look something like this what you can do is that you type percent app day oh sorry data percent just like this uh, there we go. Now I'm not going to use this. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to use my regular star menu. But for Windows 7 users like me, go ahead and type percent app data percent in here in the search bar, or whatever. Uh, now this will take you uh, to a or redirect you to a roaming folder as fast as you click on it, or you can just click enter. I recommend you click enter. Now don't mind this. This will not be here for you. I don't really know how that happened there but it's probably because I'm uh, going into dot minecraft so many times but just go ahead and click enter after typing that in and that will take you to your roaming folder in the app data uh, so 
Anyways, here's the path if you if you like to paste that instead if you think that's easier. But uh, I'm gonna do it this way because this is probably the easiest way. Anyways, next off, what you want to do is you want to go into your dot Minecraft folder. Nothing else. It should be at the top or it could be at the bottom, depending on what type or uh, you know uh, sort you you have it in or what what kind of a uh, organization. But uh, Let's go into that and next off what you want to as you see we have all the files bin resources saved stats everything else we're going to go to bin and uh, as you see here we have a minecraft.jar it doesn't say jar but uh, it's a minecraft it's a jar file and what you want to do is you want to right click this and you will need winrar to install this now i'm not going to put down a link in, or probably yeah i will sorry never mind i will put a link for winrar in the description of the video too uh, sorry, I'm not going to show you guys how to install WinRAR. I will make another tutorial on that after this on how to make uh, or install WinRAR. Sorry. And uh, yeah. But, anyways, what you want to do is you want to open it with WinRAR Archiver or 7-Sip. 7-Sip uh, works the same. But yeah. Anyways, first off, what you want to do is you want to delete meta-inf. Go ahead and delete this file because this will make the game crash unless you do not delete it. So, when you delete that, you can drag this to the side of your kind of, you know, screen and it will make a kind of a uh, yeah side of it half 50% size of the screen now you want to open up minecraft Forge that we previously downloaded drag it to the other side of the screen and there you go now as you see there's a meta inf in here too now the reason why there's a meta inf in here is cuz um the forge is not allowed to distribute minecraft uh, so because uh, Minecraft or Mojang does have a copyright in Minecraft and that's why uh, they do not want to distribute any files um, I suppose I'm not sure but yeah anyways so uh, don't delete this or uh, this everything will crash so you want to see uh, make sure you keep the meta inf in the minecraft forge now the reason why you want to delete the old or you know the the original uh, meta inf is probably I don't, I don't really know why but just do that for sure because uh, it could crash I don't know I haven't tested so just just follow me up my steps and everything should go fine so go ahead and highlight all these and uh, you could also do control a oh sorry about that <laughs> that was shift a sorry control a and simply drag just to select all the files simply drag them into your minecraft.jar just like that wait for it to load it should take a little while because there's a lot of files in here and they you know they're gonna patch up the actual minecraft so just wait for this to load um wow it should go faster it's probably because i'm recording i don't know but uh this should go faster for you unless you don't have a you know kind of slow pc but uh, mine is actually pretty fast, so the um, it's probably just because I'm recording. But anyways, <laughs> let's move on. So uh, you just want to click OK. Nothing else. Just forget about everything else. Just click OK, and uh, it will you know extract all the files into your Minecraft.jar. And as you see, we have all the files. And do not delete the meta inf. Repeat. Do not, or actually, just delete the first, the first, delete the uh, first meta inf, uh, the uh, primary one, but the second one and the Minecraft. Uh, Forge Universal, do not delete that after dragging it in or it will crash, I promise. Anyways, so, next off, what you want to do is you want to start run Minecraft once because uh, we need the mods folders and all that stuff in your dot .minecraft. Now, as you see, we have no mods folders, no core mods, no config, nothing like that. So what we're going to do, we're just going to launch Minecraft once, as simple as logging in, as usual, and... FML will set up your Minecraft environment. Now, this should take a sec. I mean, it's really fast. It shouldn't be too hard. So, just wait a sec for this to load. Um, I don't know if I'm going to skip this. No, I'm not going to skip this. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, do not close this or click stop because otherwise your Minecraft will stop from launching. And, uh, yeah, just let this load. It will not take this long. Uh, next time, this this will only happen once. After, after the, it's loaded like this once, uh, it will just like pop up disappear and then your minecraft will run it will not take this long all the times now this is the first time you run minecraft with forge installed this will pop up and download all the files or you know temporary files so now mojang sign and let's just you know get this straight let's actually wait for minecraft to go to the main menu uh jeez it's taking time oh there we go as you can see we have the three mods loaded if we go into mods here are the new little tab in the minecraft menu we have minecraft coder pack the forge mod loader and the minecraft forge actual for a mod so quit the, quit the game or just close it down now what we're going to do we're going to go back to our minimized or actually i can close that down sorry uh dot minecraft folder uh, which we open with percent app data percent now as you see we have the mods lib core mods and config and a uh, few more things like forge mod loader and all that stuff so anyways what we're going to do we're going to go into the mods folder and we're simply just going to you could copy it or just move it. I'm just going to move it in straight here into the mods folder, just like that. And after that, you can just 
simply run Minecraft once again because now we're going to generate a new file called flan very simple and that's where we're going to put all the content packs in so let Minecraft run once again and as I told you before um, the thing that was loading really long will just take a sec to load just like this the next time you will run Minecraft and uh, yeah as you can see that was pretty fast yeah that was pretty fast not not the same as the first time but Anyways, oh yeah, my cat's chilling out in my bed, whatever. <laughs> Lol. Um, so, after that, uh, your Mojang will have, or uh, next time you should have four mods or so, I'm not sure. Yeah, four mods. And as you can see, if we go down, we have the Flans mods. Now, uh, wow, well, there's no mod information found, but uh, it's made by, I don't really know what his name is, but uh, we can go and quit the game again or just close it down. Now we have the Flan folder. Go ahead and join that, and as you see, we have the properties. Just leave this. Just Leave it, or it's actually nothing really important. If you if you like explosions to be uh, enabled, set this to true. If you like bombs to be enabled, set this to true. Or if you don't like them to be, uh, if if you uh, want anything to be dis uh, disabled in here, just set true to false, just like that. But I'm gonna keep everything as true because I want uh, everything to be default because I want bullets and bombs and explosions to be true. <laughs> bombs and explosions, yeah. So next up, what you wanna do? You wanna highlight all these files. Simply right click them or right uh, right click one of them. Click open and they will all open up like boom 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 like spam like a whole computer uh, you might get some lag I did not get any lag since I'm recording uh, anyhow but now as you can see all these readme files uh don't don't just skip these they're they're not important but uh, uh where was that no, no no wait let me just open these up oh. and there we go Oh, there we go. So, uh, simply uh, just drag in the folders in the zip files simply straight into the flan folder which we have located in our dot minecraft folder just like this go ahead and uh, drag one by one straight into the uh, flan folder just like this just follow me modern weapons okay let's see here that takes a little while because there's a ton of items in that and last but not least the world war ii pack so after dragging that in you should have the all or there could be more uh i don't know but uh that's just mine. Uh, these are probably the recommended. Uh, I, I'd recommend these because uh, they're probably the best. But uh, I'm going to run Minecraft to just show you guys that this will work. So uh, let's get this done. Log in. And uh, we are pretty much done. Now, as you can see, Minecraft or FML will set up your Minecraft environment. And it should take a sec. There we go. Uh, get the old uh, Mojang sign to set pop up here. There we go. And let's just make this full screen as fast as it come to the title and uh... one sec well this could take a little while well the TV is shining pretty hard <laughs> sorry about the background noise but anyways as you can see nothing failed we have the minecraft loaded with the flans planes mod i hope this tutorial did help you out if it did please leave a like also as always become a showman for free today by subscribing to my channel and i will see you guys in the next episode thanks for watching and peace out